Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Dashcraft and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show all of you guys how you guys are be able to make a sub command, which is technically a subscriber count command. You can use it on your Discord.js bots. So you will be able to um, show uh, will show your subscribers on your YouTube channel. But before we guys should get started with you guys, make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 1K subscribers. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video guys. Alright, so as you know, as you read the title, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can create your own subscribe command. So technically, uh, it's a pretty simple command, so I use it on my proxy. So if I do, uh, technically, um, if I do uh, subs, and it will show my subscriber count on Dashcraft. As you can see, it says Dashcraft have 904 subscribers right now on YouTube. This is gonna be live, this is gonna connect into the Google, and it's gonna get the data from the Google, and it's gonna show you the subscriber count of your YouTube channel. However, Google is pretty much slow sometimes, as we all know this. So sometimes you might see some messages like Dashcraft have subs, like or your YouTube channel have undefined subscribers. This is gonna be fine. You just have to use the command again. So let's for now get into the coding. Let's go, guys. Okay, so I don't know if you have something called Let's CMD or something like that, but uh, if you're a uh, if you're a contributor from my last videos about my Discord.js bot series, which you can check it out in my channel, my playlists. Um, it, the, I teach people how they can uh, make a command handler or something as you can see I uh, put the commands here for them you can, they can just click the command and then require stuff which I'm gonna show them right now but for people who are new to the channel you just have to find your message event as you can see I'm, here, I'm having it right here and you just have to add the codes that I'm gonna show you right now so first thing you guys have to do is taking as you can see we have let message array uh, it's gonna be message that kind of split this area so make sure you have the message area like this i will put it in the description for the commands as well so in case you will have any issues or something so uh we can check the documentation description it's going to be a source code area so don't worry about anything and uh, first of all you just have to your mass uh, have your message area and you have your cmd message area zero you don't have to have rx for now but the things that i'm going to show you guys again um so take it uh, let's just say you have your youtube channel uh it's youtube.com and it's gonna be a slash um, your YouTube channel ID. So I'm gonna say minus dash grab one, two, three. You have to have a vanity URL, it means you have to at least have 100 subscribers on YouTube channel. So, you know, it will work properly fine without any issues. So as you can see, my vanity URL is youtube.com dash grab one, two, three. You have to have a vanity URL in case if you want this to work. So you have to have at least 100 subscribers to have a vanity URL. And if you don't know how to turn that on, it's pretty simple, you just have to go to your settings. And in your settings, you just have to go to the advanced settings. And as you can see, is your custom URL is something like that. Technically, that's all you have to know. And just make sure you have these uh, two commands right over here. Let message area something like this, so you won't have any issues. So what I'm going to do right, right now is technically I'm just going to do um, if the message, I mean the CMD technically, which we said CMD is going to need message array. So you just make sure you have to line up the codes right over here. So we're just going to say that if CMD is equal, equal, equal to. Um, the code so the code is gonna be technically um, perfect so first of all we have to make sure or whatever you want to call them just put it something like this and we're just gonna do equal which is my bot I'm um, sorry my bot prefix is this yeah your bot prefix and then subs or subscribers whatever you want to call it I'll put a, I'm gonna put subs because it's much more simpler um, so we will say that if our command was this here like the, uh, the question mark is our prefix and this then it's gonna do some actions in today's video we need some um uh, you know some modules probably so also if you are from old videos technically you just have to make a command you don't have to add this one you don't really need to do that you just have to put the codes that i'm gonna put inside of these brackets so first thing you gotta do is you just have to go to your terminal on your vs code whatever you have and you do mpmi um cheerio so it will insert cheerio for, cheerio for you so it's gonna take a while for installing, and you have to install two more modules because you know it's gonna it's gonna trying to uh, install get uh, you know some stuff uh, from the Google or some stuff like that. So just make sure you do that. The next thing that we're gonna do is install a request npmi request. Um, this is still inside. There we go. And then last one is npmi uh, request promise. Yeah. So that's all modules that you need for today's video. So make sure to install. As you can see, it's gonna take a while. Like I said, so don't worry. It's gonna be fine. There we go, we install it. So, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go to your top of your code, uh, where, I don't know, if you have, because on my, some of my commands, I don't have anything on top in my command handler, if you're from my old videos, just don't worry about it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do const require. We're gonna require some stuff. First of all, we're gonna const request, which is we download, we're just gonna require a request. So um, we're gonna require request promise, not request, request promise, which is important. Then um, next thing you wanna require is you're gonna const, um, which is gonna be Cheerio, I guess. I don't know if I type it, okay. Cheerio is equal to require, uh, require, I'm sorry, not request. Require is a requirement that's gonna be Cheerio. There we go. So uh, we just said we require these files and we're gonna use them in our uh, command technically. And make sure to add these on the top of your code so you won't have any issues. So next thing that we're gonna do is technically, like I said, there's a documentation description. You have to copy some codes because they're gonna connect to the Google. We're just gonna require our Google. So this is gonna be let YouTube channel URL, which is gonna be your YouTube channel URL. First thing first, as you remember, I have my YouTube channel URL. Uh, as I, like I said, youtube.com and dash got one, two, three. So if it works, pretty much you're you're hyped out, you don't have any issues. You just have to copy this one here and you have to add an HTTP to it and just add it in here as you can see, technically that's it. Um, uh, make sure you uh, make sure it's correct and you can't do youtube.com. So technically the channel you, uh, vanity URL is gonna be after this, so this area technically. So the next thing that we're gonna require is gonna be response. So the response is gonna await request, which we said request is gonna be the requirement on top. It's gonna request the YouTube channel URL in your code. So that's gonna be important. So the next thing that we're gonna do is second, we're just gonna add let the dollar sign. You, know, you, you can put anything you want, but please don't use the dollar sign because it's gonna be useful for la uh, next time. It's gonna record a Cheerio. As you remember, we record Cheerio on top. So it's gonna do Cheerio download response. So it's gonna load the response for us, which is gonna be here. And the last thing, I mean, probably not the last thing, the Google. So as you remember, um, like I said, we are gonna use a module from the Google. So um, but I mean by the technically, I use some inspect element and stuff, and uh, it's just a module technically, which is gonna require from the Google, and it's gonna connect to the Google and get the data from the Google. So this line of the code, uh, I mean, technically this line of the code, uh, I mean the full source code actually in the description, so you can check it out. And as you can see, I have this one here. And the next thing we're gonna do is technically we're done actually. Uh, yeah, technically we're done. We just have to do message.reply, message.reply. And the message.reply is gonna be, um, make sure you use this one because we're gonna you know, use this one subscriber count. So um, as you can see, it's, it's, it's an inspect element thingy. It's gonna connect to Google and it's gonna get the data from the this one here, the uh, vanity URL. So we're just gonna do uh, the dash craft, um, whatever you wanna call it, I'm gonna put dash craft, whatever dash craft have or has whatever I don't know put your anything you have <laughs> okay so we're just gonna put a dollar sign here there we go so we're gonna use subscriber count on YouTube that's it yep that's pretty much it so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna run the bot and yeah that's pretty clear um, I know it was a long video because you know we're just gonna connect to the Google and get the data from the Google and we're just gonna use the data in our source code. This is not gonna be pretty complicated and I bet there's not a lot of videos about this because I realized this one by myself without any help with other people. So that's taking care. So we're just gonna do no dot. Um, I'm just gonna run our bot I guess. So we're just gonna do subs. Yep, Dashcraft has 905 subs on YouTube. Yeah guys, take a yeah, there we go. <laughs> you made your subscriber count uh, pretty simple, I guess. Uh, it wasn't very complicated at all. Um, so yeah, I think it wasn't pretty complicated. I think you all enjoyed it. Um, well, if you have any issues again, because uh, I know you guys have any issues, I will put the modules that you have to install in the description as well. There are gonna be required modules in case your bot is gonna run. One of them is request, one of them is Cheerio, and one of them is a request promise. So just make sure you have them all. And yeah, I think technically that's for this video, guys. You can check out customize it or some stuff like this. Don't work with this stuff here. I killed myself for this one for like, I don't know, uh, one week to fix this issues. So just don't play with around with these are area. And you just have to work on this code right over here and this code right over here. So we can uh, change the code or some stuff like that. And for the subscriber account data, you just have to require this area on here. Hey guys, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you will enjoy. You will enjoy it. If you like, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Hit that red subscribe button. It will support me a lot for making more videos like this. And this video is pretty much 
not on YouTube, I bet. It's not gonna be a lot of videos about this, and a lot of them are complicated, I bet. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button again, and you can join to Discord server as well. Um, if you wanna, you know, uh, have any issues, we have a support on there that will help us, you know, uh, give us, give people help, and you can comment down below. I will personally answer it if you want me to. And yeah, I hope I will see you next video, guys. Road to 1k subscribers. Everyone, goodbye.